So, starting off now is uh, Risa, who will be speaking about uh, the balance between technology disruption and tradition in the Middle East. I hope that's correct. Welcome to the floor, Risa. Thanks. Can I share the screen? So, uh, uh, today I want to talk about the complex dynamics between technological disruption and cultural traditions currently unfolding across the Middle East region. Actually, the Middle East finds itself enthusiastically embracing new innovations while also grappling to integrate rapid development with long held cultural values. That's what, what my presentation would, would be about. First of all, we have to talk about the rise of tech in Iran. Let's examine Iran's accelerating technology startup scene as it, as it exists today. Iran is currently home to, co to over 6,000 tech startups disrupting sectors like e-commerce, fintech, transport, and logistics. Prominent companies like Digicala and Snap are leading the way in digital retail and variety. Heavy. Just last week, payment startup PayPing secured 30 million in venture capital funding showcasing fintech potential in an otherwise cash-dominant economy. The Iranian startup raised over $840 million in to 2021 trends, continuing steadily this year. The government actively champions the knowledge economy through initiatives like the Iran National Innovation Fund, which is one of the most important scholarship uh, yeah, NGOs in Iran. However, there are some obstacles like the US sanctions imposed on Iran, which have hampered digital growth by restricting access uh, to global access, app stores, payment systems, and hardware. Workaround, workarounds like the Cathay Bazaar app store demonstrate persistence, but sanctions remain an obstacle. There are, of course, cultural resistance is another factor, which might be a major issue with this respect. Despite youthful enthusiasm, traditional mindsets still present challenges to technology adoption as of today. Hardline groups are another major challenge. They have voiced constantly voice concerns about the moral corruption and alien influence from uncontrolled tech growth. Uh, the other factor is the, the rural areas, the non the areas which don't have the facilities which are available in metro metropolitan areas. As internet reaches rural areas, this tension surface more visible. The Islamic culture of modesty conflicts with aspects of global social media. To balance new equation, innovation and traditional values, the Iranian government maintains strict controls. All internet traffic flows through state approved ISPs or internet service providers uh, ha have been faced with censorship. Laws limit online freedom. But critics, such as myself, argue that this restricts creativity. Ongoing debates continue around regulating technology to uphold cultural ideals while still enabling progress. Now let's talk about some, some, uh, some concrete examples in the Persian Gulf states and the tech trans especially the, the tech, tech transformation. Beyond Iran, uh, Gulf nations like Saudi Arabia, UAE, and Qatar have, have also vigorous, vigorously embraced technology to transform their societies, not without unique cultural considerations, like Oman, for example. Saudi Arabia's Vision 2030's plan aims to diversify the economy with technology as of today. Goals include increasing the IT market size to up to 40 billion by the end of this decade. 
Recent tech developments in include the 500 billion futuristic city of Neom, currently under construction, a national AI strategy and new initiatives to boost ladies' STEM education. The UAE has rapidly established cities like Dubai and Abu Dhabi, glitter, glitter, yeah, sorry, glittering high-tech hubs through aggressive modernization. But this space of change has raised concerns over delusion of emirati culture. Hence, policy of emphasis on balancing innovation with our heritage. The Persian Gulf region currently has major opportunities to lead frog in renewable energy, electric transport, sustainable architecture. Localized solutions aligned with Islamic principle with a adoption. Overall, Persian, Persian Gulf states will continue to undergo technology-driven transformation with cultural growing pains. There are some obstacles to adoption. Let's enumerate them one by one. Uh, firstly, barriers like literacy, device access, and infrastructure remain in rural communities. E-learning adoption lacks global counterparts. Yeah, sorry. Uh, cash remains relied upon for most routine transactions as of today. Culturally, new innovations unsettle traditional power structures north, fueling distrust among conservative fractions. Perceived clashes with Islamic privacy and gender norms create social friction, frictions. Misinformation spreads rapidly across informal networks. That's almost, almost always the case. Around. Over dependence on oil has bred complacent, sort of complacent towards innovation in some nations, including Iran. Fundamentally, transitioning mindsets will be gradual, resisting all sorts of change. Leadership change also engages technology strategy, continuity, and momentum at present. Now, what's the strategy? What's uh, to balance innovation with? tradition concerning AI and education. How, how might Middle Eastern societies integrate exponential technological growth with cultural traditions? The path forward requires balanced policies tailored to modern realities. Firstly, celebrating national Islamic identity can counter fears of cultural erosion. Events education and dialogue reaffirming heritage provides stability amidst rapid development. Secondly, citizen-centered solutions designed organically for local context align best with cultural norms as exist today. Examples include Sharia-compliant fintech, the most weird one I've ever heard of, e-learning accommodating prayer schedules, Modernizing technology, traditional sectors like energy and finance through technology, which can boost acceptance and synergies. Fields like green, hydrogen, energy allow tradition and innovation to become constructively merge. Lastly, equitable growth uplift, uplifting all citizens will sustain public support in the modern era. Digital skills, skill programs, rural development, Entrepreneurial funding are essential. With wisdom and foresight, the region can reasonably advance to make contemporary reality while honoring the past. So, so what's the road ahead of us? The Middle East today stands at the, at the cost of a new area, one requiring delicate yet decisive balance of balancing of balancing and leveraging of rapid technology adoption with steadfast cultural traditions. The future remains hopeful if societies leverage technology as a tool for empowerment and progress for all people in line with humanistic ethics and Islamic principles, if possible. With this mindset, 
both exponential innovation and tradition and complement one another. Uh, thank you so much for listening.